singing better bands. Better. I wonder what she was like before. You are not wrong, my darling. I have been working on my head voice. It seems to make my chest tones richer. Yes, well, that... That just comes leaping out at oh, once. Oh, I'm so glad you heard it. <laughs> <laughs> of course, this brings us back to the same problem we faced before. Trying to find a male lead to match your power, your range. Well, what about Walter Kimber? I mean, he wasn't bad as Emile de Beck. I mean, his French accent wasn't really very good, you haven't but... haven't heard. Heard what, darling? He was convicted. No. Something about a savings and loan. Mm -hmm. He should be out in time for our spring 93 production. Oh, but never mind. We'll find someone. By the way, I got the costume estimate, and I think we should forget about making them ourselves. Let's just shop the boutiques. Ooh. Ooh, that sounds wonderful. And why don't you pick up something for yourself? Don't well, you think that's right? I won't be in the show. No. Darling, the audience is just going to demand that you get up and take a curtain call on that stage. So, uh, go out and buy yourself something fabulous and send the bill to my accountant. Well, I've heard all I need to. <laughs> so have I. <laughs> have you ever considered opera? No, I haven't. Should I? Yes, you should. Well. All right, Tina, Tina, fine. Just be patient. Okay? It'll work out, no? I promise you. Just... Parting is such sweet <laughs> sorrow. I love that. You know, William Shakespeare stole everything. <laughs> everything. I'll see you in a while. Now, who else? Me. I want to... I want to read for you. Acrobats have no lines. No, no, no. I want to do a speaking part. Really, I can do a speaking part. Sorry. I really Sorry. Please. What should I do? Go for it. Go for it. Yes. Go for it. Go. 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 Right. Right, me too. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, I went over the lines again all night, last night, all night. Good. No experience is ever wasted. Well, look, I can give you everything you want. You're going to make a beautiful acrobat. That's what I want. Uh, it's all I want. Excuse me, am I too late for the audition? And um, step in so Hi. I can see you. Hey, Hi. Um, I'm uh, Sheila. Oh, you all know each other. Mm -hmm. Yes. How nice. Well, Sharon, what can I do for you? Sheila. Yeah, I never remember names. Faces are what I remember. And voices. Unforgettable faces and voices. Um, well, that's why I'm here, is to sing for you. I like your face. <clears throat> Thank you. Um, well, how about giving my voice a chance? You have five minutes. Okay. But I warn you, I bore easily. I might stop you at any time. Although he may not be the man some girls think of, to hear what your voice sounds like in a duet. 
Well, um, do you have anything specific in mind? Let me think for a second. Mrs. Bartlett, mm. I am told, I am told that you know more about the Landview Thespians' finances than anybody else. Uh, well, fair, fair comment. Oh, well, listen, my husband, he's a journalist, and I was thinking that perhaps he could do an article about you. Oh, an, uh, an article? Yes, see, we could call it the Landview Thespians' double threat. We have Babs Bartlett, fundraiser extraordinaire, and then we have Babs Bartlett, leading lady. I also supervise the posters. Oh, triple threat, <laughs> triple threat. So, I don't think we should talk about that in here, do you? I think we should go outside. Mm, let's talk in my limo. There's let's nothing of importance happening in nothing here. Nothing at all. Come, come, let's go. Thank you. If I'd have known, I would have brought someone with me. I mm. didn't. It's a pity. Because half the numbers in the show are duets. Oh. Make it. Oh, what are you doing here? Uh, have you seen Tina around, around here? I'm looking for her. Wait a minute. Excuse me. Well, what are you doing? Uh, you needed someone to sing a duet with Sheila? Well, here he is. Uh, excuse me. Oh, Cord. Would you? I mean, that would be great. I mean... Whoa, whoa, whoa. What you, would be great? What's going on? You are. Sing, Mr. Cord Roberts. Yes. Sing. Sing Go. what? Yeah. Whatever. What are we going to sing? Yeah. I haven't got all day, people. Okay, okay. we... we oh, <clears throat> are ready. I hear singing, but there's no one there. I smell blossoms, but the trees are bare. All day long I seem to walk on air. I wonder why, I wonder why. I keep tossing in my sleep at night. You know, and if I fail, fine. And if I didn't, you know, and if it worked out, that'd be great. You know, I just, I didn't know. I didn't know, and I wanted to do it. I thought it'd be something fun, so I just thought I would. I know you know you're what doing I mean? a lot of talking, Tina. Well, Court, I just, I'm trying to explain it to you. You don't have to explain anything. I want you to understand. I do understand. You do? Yeah. Yeah, this seems like something that you want to do, and you find an opportunity, and you went for it. That's great. That's great? Yeah. <laughs> Court! How do I ever deserve a man like you? Oh, you're just lucky, I guess. I'm lucky, I guess. Okay, listen, don't get your hopes up too much about this. I mean, I don't know if it's going to work out or anything, okay? I'll try to contain myself, okay? Great. Okay, people. I've got our final cast list. But before I post it, I want to congratulate the brilliant newcomer who will be playing our lead. Cord Roberts! This is Charles Gibson. And John London. Tomorrow, the latest news from the Soviet Union, plus golden girl Betty White. Then what brings Alan Alda to London? And from the top of the charts in France, Patricia Koth on Good Morning America. Coming up next, Bill's fortune is on the line when he's set up for a double cross. Stay tuned for General Hospital following an ABC News Brief.